Hey everybody, welcome to the Universal Energy Forecast for this week, April the 17th, the Oracle card reading for the 17th, and it looks awesome. Last week was a little bit of a shaker-upper. Um, so, remember these readings are not predictive as much as they are prescriptive. I like to kind of hammer that home every week because they are like weather reports and then what to do. In other words, if I tell you it's gonna rain, bring an umbrella. That's basically what these are about. Um, and ways for you to consider how you would operate under these subjects, given that these are kind of in the collective mindset. So basically everybody is sort of under this vibe that the cards are talking about. So let's talk about the first card. And I always believe too that the people who see the videos are who the reading is for. The first card is by the book in protection. And that means that this is a time for you to be fully authentic. This is not a time for conformity. This is not a time to go by somebody else's rules. This is a time for you to be 100% yourself. And like, don't, you know, I guess what I wanna say is don't bite your tongue. Um, you can say what's on your mind and it really is come out of the closet. I would say come out of your spiritual closet. And guess what, if you do that, you're gonna have a real solid foundation, right? Because if you go by somebody else's idea of who you are supposed to be, you won't have a solid foundation. And this one talks about this week about, yeah, I really want to determine my intentions. And that means I have to look at where have I not been totally honest or really authentic about what I desire and what I want, what I'm willing to give in to. So um, there's always a time for compromise and not, this is not the week to compromise. Now this is also interesting because chaos and conflict comes as a result of that. Well, of course, if you're going to shake the tree and you're going to say, no, I'm going to do it my way. Um, and I'm going to do it my way so that I can set a, a solid foundation, even though we're still collaborating within the group because we're still in Mercury retrograde, right? We want to make sure that we don't go veering off into the, you know, I'm doing it only my way. It's what's the highest good by being fully authentic. And it will rattle a few people because if you are in a group or a tribe or a family, for example, and you decide, let's just say you come out of the closet and say, I'm going to read Oracle cards now and your family are like, oh, evil <laughs> or something, um, you know, or, you know, you decided your, your mom wanted to be a, you to be a lawyer and you want to be a stripper. <laughs> kidding <laughs> you know what I'm getting at right like you're gonna you're gonna go into another direction all of a sudden the people who want you to stay the way you are are gonna be like uh, I don't know how to cope with that so this, so there's gonna be a bit of you know chaos which is good it's healthy chaos because at the end it just says you got to keep going chop wood carry water so this is really about the work that we need to do to chisel away the parts of us that really aren't real and so that we can show up in the world for the highest good for not just ourselves but for everybody else too. So great week ahead, looking forward to it. And I wanna shout out to my husband, happy, happy birthday. I love you, honey. And for all of you Aries born this week, you guys rock. Take care. And if you like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. I love to read them. I've seen the future, it's beautiful.